Before Cam Bam, there was Sarkozy and Bush, the original transatlantic bromance. At a time when anti-U.S. sentiment in France ran deep, France had a president who vacationed in the land of freedom fries and wasn't at all shy about his love of American values. So much so, critics started calling him Sarko the American. As if he hadn't already earned the nickname, Sarkozy and his supporters have renamed their center-right Union for a Popular Movement Party, the Republicans. Now, supporters are quick to point out the new name derives not so much from the grand old party, but the old French Republic, you know, the one that abolished the monarchy. Whatever the origin, it's a much-needed rebrand. The party's had its fair share of infighting and scandals over the years, several concerning Sarkozy himself. He's still under investigation for alleged influence peddling. All of this is Sarkozy eyes his big political comeback, which might strike some as a bit odd, seeing as he promised to get out of politics for good when defeated by Francois Hollande in 2012. His exact words were, you won't hear from me again, except that we've heard a lot from him. Although the next presidential election is still years away, Sarkozy's made no secret of the fact that he plans to run, writing on his Facebook page, I love France too much. The fact that his likely opponent has the lowest approval rating of any modern French president also probably affects his calculus. Both Sarkozy and Hollande have their work cut out for them, assuming they do run. A recent French poll found three quarters of voters don't want either man on the ballot. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.